Hey everybody, it's Lou. Welcome back to another episode of LMTV and Off Grid Adventures. Um, I know I just posted a video, but I have some exciting news. I think everyone can see what I'm pointing at here. We got our door panels back. We also got back some of our dash covers. Uh, this is the fuse panel. This is the kick plate for where the air distribution block is. Uh, this will end up getting painted the same color as the truck. The engine tunnel will also get, uh, that's getting dyed the same color as the carpet. And uh, the company that did all this work, their name is Walker Fabrics. They're located in Crestwood, Kentucky. I just want to give them a shout out. Family owned and operated. Uh, the entire family works. They're great people. Um, very fair in their prices. They do phenomenal work. Um, I told them don't rush on it, but he still squeezed me in. It's uh, Tim over there. Great guy. He's actually going to be doing my headliner in my overhead um, console. I've got to bring him the parts for this here, and then we have the back panel he returned to me, and there's another back panel and two side panels on each side of the doors that I got back also today. Those will get installed. We've got some insulation work we're going to do in there, but again, very, very professional looking. Uh, it, it just came out perfectly. It makes the truck look even that much better on the interior, and then I'm going to get a custom carpet made for the floor. Uh, that I can actually take out and clean if need be. With that being said, I wanted to move on to a topic that I promised one of my viewers. Uh, he's going to have us get him a truck built here. Hopefully in the next two to three months, he's going to start the process. But I told him I would do a vlog specifically on the Thetford cassette toilet. Um, I've got the door open here, and as everyone can see, the way this works, it's uh, this little door holds a cassette. And what I mean by the cassette is this little handy dandy luggage bag looking item. What this is, is this is where all your business goes. Uh, this is the cassette. It holds about six gallons or so of waste. Everything's contained right here in this. It's very easy to take out. I will show that here in a minute. This little trap door, which I just took off, but goes right back on, slides back and forth. So when you put the cassette in, uh, there's a mechanism inside that moves that back. You do your business, that closes. It's got a nice rubber seal here, so none of the smells get out. Excuse me there. And also, the, for uh, emptying, you just turn the nozzle like this. You take off the cap, grab onto the handles, and dump your waste out. And most of all, the solids and everything have been broken down by the chemicals that are in a tank. But no splash, no mess, whereas there is on other... RVs, you got to pull a dump valve, you got to hook a hose up to it. This made it simple. We didn't have to put a black water tank. This is our black water tank right here. Uh, everything just pulls right out, throw it out, done, put it back in. You can hose it out, rinse it out again, and put it in there. There's also a venting system called a SOG kit. We're going to probably end up ordering one here. And what that does is it hooks up to the tank and it pulls fu the fumes out of the tank and keeps a negative pressure inside of here. When you flip a switch so when you're doing your business the smells all go down through the tank and out the side on a little hose that you cut in here and goes out the side of the truck and therefore keeping any type of noxious gases out of the the bathroom or as everyone knows but anyway so that's the thetford c220 they do have different versions there's a manual version that has i think about four gallons of water that it holds into it this is the electric version and again you open the door uh, these are the wires here for the electric flush, the water line coming in from the freshwater tank, and again, we have 100 gallons of fresh water, so more than enough water to do what we have to do in the bathroom. This is the power supply cord. We'll uh, show that in another video when we get it all hooked up and working. But as of for putting the cassette in, let me show everyone how this works. If you just grab the cassette here, let me fold this nozzle back down, grab onto it, and in it goes. And then you push this in and it locks itself into place. I don't have the toilet secured yet, so it's really a little bit of a pain to put it back in right now. I've got some more things to do in the bathroom on the toilet, and then that will be secured and in place. But that just slides in there. Quick little press of the release here. Pull it out like so. Do what you have to do, and you're done. Again, great system. I am not affiliated with Thetford whatsoever. Excuse the sirens. There's a truck going by, a fire truck. But the Thetford C220, I had to order it from the UK. It got here, DHNL, in probably 
I don't know, about five to six days, pretty quick. Great system, no black water tanks again to deal with on the underneath the truck or hoses and all that uh, fun stuff. So again, I wanted to show that for the uh, person that messaged me and has been talking to me on the phone. Uh, hopefully when we get your truck going here, we'll uh, go ahead and take care of that. It's the exact same type of toilet for you like we talked about. But again, the new news was the panels, they're in, they're getting, they're done. And we will go ahead and just keep bringing the videos of you as parts come in and get put back onto the truck and Optimus gets finished. Again, hit the like button for me, please. Uh, enjoy the comments. Enjoy getting the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And again, to all the people out there that have been wonderful on this project, Eric, Chuck and Dwight over at Boltliner of Louisville, uh, Walker Fabrics, ask for Tim over there if you need to uh, get anything done in the, in the Kentucky area. And everyone else that's starting to, that has come on board and help us out again the home depot mechanics wear all of our sponsors we're so excited to have everyone and the help we're getting on this and we will keep bringing good quality videos to everyone and as stuff happens i'll be sure to let you know right away again have a great evening i've enjoyed uh, showing everyone this if you have any questions feel free to message me and i'll get back to you as soon as i can good night